Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So we are outside of Walgreens. We're gonna head in here and check out a few deals. So I wanna show you guys the spend 50, get $7 in Walgreens cash deal. I know a lot of you guys get that booster and you're like, oh, it's not worth doing. So I am just gonna show you an example deal of how to do that. We are also gonna talk about how to use some Walgreens cash on a spend deal and still earn your Walgreens cash back. So if you have questions about that, it's been a little while since I did a video on that. So I. I'm gonna break it down for you and show you guys everything that you need to know about it. So let's go ahead, grab our deals, and then we will head back home and go over the receipt together. And if you're completely new to my channel, welcome. welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs, thumbs up, up, as well as hit that red subscribe button below, below. and the notification bell, bell so you don't miss any new videos. videos. So let's head in the store and check out the deal. All right, guys, so we are going to start off our Walgreens couponing and we are going to do the spin 50 get seven. All right, guys, so the first item we're picking up are the Venus Gillette Razors for $7.99. We have a $3 digital for this, so we're going to use that, pay $4.99, but get back a $4 register reward, making these $0.99. Cents. So we're going to put this in our spend deal. The next item we're picking up is the Big Soleil Razors. These are buy one, get one 50% off. So I have done this deal many times this month, but I still have two coupons. I have the $4 off coupon and the $3 coupon. Both of these I printed from the Big website. There may be one on coupons.com still available. So definitely check and check the Big site as well. So I'm gonna use both of these and I'm gonna get $2 Walgreens cash back on these. So they're gonna be about 73 cents for both of them. And you may still have an $8 I bought a rebate. So next we are gonna pick up Tresemme, two for $10. It's part of this buy three, get a $5 in Walgreens cash reward. So we're gonna grab these and we're also going to use a $5 digital coupon on this. And we're gonna add one more item as our third item to earn the $5 in Walgreens cash. So another deal that we are going to pick up is on the Axe deodorant and body spray. So I'm going to use two of these buy one get one free Axe coupons from the 314 Unilever. These expire on the 27th. So I'm hoping it will take off the max amount of the body spray at 649. So we will see what happens. We're going to go ahead and grab two of these other uh, free items for the coupons and then two other deodorants and these high value coupons will go great with our spin 50 deal. So for our third item on the buy three, get $5 in Walgreens cash, we're picking up an Oral-B toothbrush. We have a $2 digital coupon that will attach to this. So that one is going to make it $1.99. So next I'm doing the poise deal. If you've been watching my videos, you know I've done this deal several times as well. They're two for $9. I have two of these $2 coupons left. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these two and we are gonna get back a $5 register reward for buying two of these. All right, guys, so I've got a little over $60 worth of items in my cart here. So all of these items, we are going to use part uh, manufacturer coupons to pay down our balance. We're also going to use some Walgreens cash to pay this down some as well. So I'm going to walk you through my receipt and all of that here in a few minutes after we check out. So I've got my paper manufacturer coupons that I can use uh, for the poise and the axe. And also um, I have my paper coupons coupons for the big razors. Now, as for digital coupons, I do have a few digitals for the Venus Gillette, also for the Tresemme, and also for the Oral-B. So we are going to go over all of this as soon as I get home, and we're going to go into great detail on the receipt and how to use Walgreens cash on a spend deal. 
right guys so we are back in the car from walgreens the transaction went well i added a couple of candy bars to my transaction at the end so we'll talk about the cost with and without those but we're gonna go ahead home we are gonna check out this receipt talk final cost i did use some walgreens cash to pay and also paid a little out of pocket and still earn my walgreens cash back so let's go ahead and see how we can do that all right guys so i am back home and this is my walgreens haul for the spend 50 get seven dollars in walgreens cash so i am gonna walk you through my receipt i'm gonna walk you through the exact total before coupons after coupons how we know it's okay to use walgreens cash to pay on this and so on and so forth so got everything written down so i'm going to show you guys even like my notes on it and everything so hopefully that'll help because i know sometimes seeing a visual of things written down helps as well so got all of this today um there was one other candy bar there but me and axel split that earlier because i i went shopping this morning but i'm recording this um in the evening time on wednesday so i should be posting this for you guys on thursday morning didn't get a chance to post it today so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and start off um so like i was telling you guys um and i've told you in other videos but it's been a while since i did a video like this just clearly explaining you know exactly like when you can use walgreens cash on a spend deal and when you can't um and i have a video in the description box below but that was when it was called points so it's a little different so i have everything written down i'm going to show you guys the exact totals um you know how much came off for each coupon all of that why i added candy bars in there and all of that good stuff so we're going to first look at the receipt then I'm gonna go over it with you guys step by step. And of course, if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, so you can see here, I shopped on Wednesday morning. Um, so um, picked up the Big Soleil Razors, $6.49, buy one, get one 50% off, one was $3.24. Picked up the Axe Body Spray and the Axe Deodorant. Um, so that was $6.49, buy one, get one 50% off, $3.24. Then my other um, axe was six um, forty nine. The other one ring up to ninety nine. So I was expecting them to ring up six forty nine and three twenty four each. So when that one rang up to ninety nine, I'm glad that I was keeping an eye on the register as things were ringing up because that put me a little lower than the amount that I needed to be for this spend deal. So that is why I added in the candy bars. It did put me a little higher than I needed to be, but I wanted to make sure that I was, you know, around the amount that I expected and all of that. So those were um, two for three dollars or no, I'm sorry, two for two dollars with the um ivc coupon so that is why i added those in so it did make my total two dollars higher than it needed to be i could have just added a one dollar item but i was like why am i gonna buy one candy bar for one dollar when i can get four for two dollars so that's why i did that so anyways um so always keep an eye on it because if something rings up a little differently than you can expect even a few cents can throw off a spend deal so I also got the poise um, for $9. That was two for $9. Then I also picked up those candy bars that we talked about. Um, so they say four for $3, but they're actually four for $2 after that IVC coupon comes off. Takes off 25 cents off each one. Picked up the Tresemme for two for $10. Let me move this receipt down. And then we picked up the Venus Razors for $7.99 and the Oral-B for $3.99. So my total for all of this before any coupons at all was $62.92. So I built up the transaction a little higher than the $50 mark. I used the $1 IVC coupon that came off of the candy bars. So anytime you're using a store coupon, it does take away from your spend amount. So you wanna make sure to subtract that from your total. So after the $1 store coupon, our new total was $61.92. So now we're gonna talk about what coupons we use. I'm gonna show you every coupon that I used on here. 
So you can see right down here, we use the Axe Body Spray coupon and it's buy one, get one free on the body spray. So you can buy one Axe item, get the body spray free. And it took off the whole $6.49 for both of those. Now, I do want to say one thing about that before we continue. I had her ring up these two first and then these two. I don't know if that makes a difference on that, but I was hoping that the coupon would take off the full amount and not just the half price item. Because normally, if there's something half price, it'll take off the lower amount. Now, it could be just the way that the coupon is ringing up at Walgreens, because a lot of times at Walgreens, it will take the higher amount. So, that turned out great because that's a lot more savings, and that's what I was kind of accounting for. So... It took off $6.49 for both of those. We had our $4 BIC coupon. That was a paper coupon. $3 BIC coupon. Also a paper coupon. Two $2 Poise coupons. Then for digitals, we had a $5 off two Tresemme. $3 off Venus. And $2 off of Oral-B. That took our total down to $27.94. So... With that being said, we're going to look at my little um, coupon pad here. So, um, yes, I have my little um, Kris Jenner notepad. So, um, if no one's told you today, you're doing amazing, sweetie. So, anyways, you guys, um, total before coupons, $62.92. So, we talked about that. The $1 IVC coupon. The new total is $61.92. We just used $33.98 in manufacturer coupons, taking our balance down to $27.94. So, when you are using manufacturer coupons, they count as cash. So, out of the $50 that we need to spend, we have already paid $33.98 of that. So, our manufacturer coupons is like we already paid $33.98 cash. So, at that point, we need to spend at least $16.02 more out of pocket. So, so, with that being said, if our total is $27.94 and we only need to spend at least $16.02 more out of pocket, what we can do is we can use some Walgreens cash to pay down our balance. That way we don't have to pay that whole $27.94 out of our own pocket. We can lower it some. Depending on how you build up your transaction, you could use even more Walgreens cash to lower your out of pocket. But on this scenario, I knew that my total would be around $27.94. And I knew that it was okay for me to use $10 in Walgreens cash because that was still going to lead me to pay $17.94 out of pocket. So, with that being said, I'll show you guys right here. You can see on my receipt that I did pay, redeemed on this visit, $10 in Walgreens cash. And I still earned $14.51 in Walgreens cash on this deal. So... Again, I'm going to show you on my notebook here. You can see there. So, out of the $50 spend amount that we needed, we paid $33.98 with manufacturer coupons. We had to pay at least $16.02 more, and we paid $17.94. So, we were at that amount, used our $10 in Walgreens cash. So, on this deal, we earned $14.51 in Walgreens cash. Now, the and $13 in register rewards. So let me break that down of what was what on that. So we got the $7 in Walgreens cash for spending $50 before manufacturer coupons. We also got $5 back for buying these three products. So then we got back $2 in Walgreens cash for buying the two big razors. Now, in Register Rewards, we got back a $5 Register Reward for the Poise. We got back a $4 Register Reward for the Venus Razors. And we got a $4 Register Reward for the Axe products. So, total between $14.51 in Walgreens Cash and $13 in Register Rewards, if you subtract that from the $27.94 that was our total, even though we didn't actually spend that much out of pocket, we came out with a final cost of $0.43 cents for all of these items, and that's including the candy bars. So, $0.43 cents for all of this is not bad at all. 
If your Ibotta account still has the Bic Razor deal on there for $8 when you buy two, you could get an additional $8 back. Now, the reason that I didn't get that on mine is because I did that deal on Sunday and it has not reset for me. So with that being said, I did not get that additional amount back. But if you haven't done the deal yet, you could get that back on those. Now, I also submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards. So, with that being said, I had a bonus on Poise, and that was for a thousand points, which is one dollar. So, I actually got an additional dollar back on that. So, it made it like a 50 something cent money maker. So, that was awesome. That was actually my final cost for this. But when submitting two fetch rewards, a bonus popped up on my account. So a lot of people have been saying that they got a bonus on fetch rewards for spend 30, get 10,000 points or $10. Um, and that's for Walgreens only when you spend $30 on Unilever products. Um, Axe is included in that, Tresemme, um, and some other items. So to my surprise, even though that offer was not showing on my fetch account at all, it popped up once I scanned my receipt for this transaction and it told me that I'm only $10 away from earning that $10 reward. So that is something else that this transaction helped me get to. I'm only a little bit away from earning that reward. So that's really awesome as well. So definitely guys, let me know if you have any questions about how to do a spin deal, how to use Walgreens cash on a spin deal. I hope that this was helpful in kind of explaining and breaking down exactly how you go from your total, your manufacturer coupons counting as cash, all of that. And if you're not sure, when you're looking at the ad or you're looking at things in the store and something says, spend X amount, earn Walgreens cash. Those are the deals that you have to be careful about. If you have a deal or a digital booster that says that, you can use Walgreens cash as long as you do something how I did it here, where you are covering the spend amount with your manufacturer coupons and your cash out of pocket. Now, if you get one of the paper boosters that says spend X you know, amount, get Walgreens cash, you never want to use Walgreens cash on a paper booster or it will not give you your Walgreens cash back. So the paper boosters look very similar to register rewards and they print from the Catalina machine. So if you ever get one of those, do not pay with Walgreens cash on a spend booster. Now, if you want to use register rewards like this to lower your out of pocket on a spend deal, for example, if you wanted to do um, some register rewards on this deal that we just did, you could do that as long as you had items that did not have a manufacturer coupon attaching to it because these also count as manufacturer coupons. Now, with that being said, sometimes when you use a register reward on a transaction that you are also using digital coupons, sometimes it can kick out your digital. So you do have to be careful about that because there's no way of really knowing. Sometimes it will do it, sometimes it won't. So definitely be careful if you are doing that. But let me know in the comments below, guys, if you have any questions at all. And I'm going to have this whole transaction on the printable list. So if you need to refer back to this video, even if you're watching this and these deals are no longer good, or something like that it is still the same concept for how to use Walgreens cash on a spin deal and still earn your Walgreens cash back so I hope that this was helpful and maybe even helpful for some of you being able to use that spin 50 get seven dollars in Walgreens cash because I know a lot of you guys say when you get that like oh my gosh I'm not using that and if you don't want to use it definitely don't do it if it doesn't work for you um, but I did want to kind of show that because I know a lot of times I show the spin 20 um, get $5 on Walgreens cash and those are a lot easier to work with than a big booster like this So definitely let me know what you guys think but overall I'm super happy with the transaction 43 cents for all this would have been great But that additional dollar back on poise just made it a little bit of a money maker. So coming out completely free for Almost $63 worth of items is definitely a great deal So let me know what you guys think and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys
If you'd like to learn even more about how to coupon at Walgreens, you can check out my how to coupon at Walgreens video below in the description box. It is the ultimate guide of what to do with register rewards, Walgreens cash. I walk you through all the different ins and outs of Walgreens. So definitely check out that video if you still have more questions about Walgreens couponing.